No single event crystallizes the need for accurate legal knowledge more than an arrest. Although we hope it'll never happen to you, it is possible. You've seen arrests enough times in the media to know that the first duty of an arresting officer is informing the arrestee of their legal rights. Our country's founded on constitutional limits to governmental authority won by citizens through sacrifice and struggle. Waving, that is giving up your rights, doesn't make much sense. There's no shame or dishonor in taking advantage of your rights. The rights of a person in custody include the right to remain silent and the right to legal counsel. The most important thing you can do is remain silent and request counsel. Even if you think answering questions would help clear you, the playing field should be even. Trained police officers talking with trained legal counsel. You'll receive no worse treatment, and in fact, you may get better treatment by remaining silent rather than waiving your rights and answering questions. Never assume that you can explain your way out of the charges. Police don't make arrests unless they think their case will stick. If they've made an arrest, they've already decided you're guilty, and there's no amount of explanation which will result in the police changing their mind. Moreover, once the arrest is made, the police cannot drop the matter without the prosecutor's or the court's approval. If you're afraid the police will think you're a criminal because you want counsel, remember that if they've arrested you, the police already think you're a criminal. Asking for legal counsel before you make a statement simply means you want legal counsel before you make a statement. It will not prejudice the ultimate resolution of the case. Giving a statement without advice from counsel is almost certainly going to be adverse to your interests. Keeping quiet can only result in good. An arrestee willing to make some sort of a plea bargain to resolve the charges may think to gain favor by cooperating, but remember, the police cannot make plea bargains and have no authority other than arrest. If you want to make a deal in relation to any charges, a lawyer's advice will be necessary. Your attorney will deal with those who can make a plea bargain, the prosecutors, not the police. There will be more than enough time to work out any deals later on. 